Sean Adams of OrangeBloods and Rivals.com joins us. Sean, in addition to everything I just mentioned, again, for the second straight week, Texas playing against a team. Uh, they're calling the game the biggest game in school history. Do you worry about the emotional state of Texas right now? Well, I don't think you can worry about the emotional state of Texas only for the simple fact is it may not be the biggest game in their history. They have to do what they do. This is a team that has leadership, has been grounded, has some seasoned veterans who've experienced some downside and some upside. I think they'll be fine emotionally going into the game. As for the actual game, Texas defense second in the nation in sacks. Texas Tech offense second in fewest sacks allowed. So do you see the Longhorn front seven consistently getting to Graham Harrell? Well, I think they're going to get to Graham Harrell. I think it's important to understand that sometimes, especially in the college game as opposed to the pro game, it's, a, uh, it's more about getting pressure on the quarterback as opposed to actually getting the sacks. Forcing Graham Harrell to make throws earlier than he wants to, make him make those throws into tighter windows, is probably going to be the goal of the Texas Longhorns, and I think they will do that. Big 12 Conference loaded at wide receiver just like a quarterback. You have Michael Crabtree, you have Jeremy Macklin, Des Bryant. Considering the talent of those players, do Jordan Shipley, Quan Cosby get recognition as all-conference wideouts? You know, that's one of the things that's been talked about here in Austin. I think on some level you have to give them some importance based on the importance that they are to their team and to their program. The, they may not have the pro potential and they may not have the measurables of the Crabtrees and, and of Des Bryant, maybe even Jeremy Mackling, but uh, they are getting it done. They've been very important to their team. Consistency has been a key for them, and they've shown up every game. I don't know that you can say that for every other receiver. Texas passing game, outstanding, one of the best in the country. Run game, not so much. Would you describe that running effort as capable or insufficient? I'm going to take C and say it's a mixture of the two, but I will say it's capable uh, when they absolutely need it. I don't think it's a great running back game. They're absolutely a team that has to pass to set up the run, and I think that's one of the things that everybody's thought uh, that they were going to struggle with, and you've seen them struggle at times. It's a piece they've got to continue to develop. Sean Adams, we'll talk to you again in just a little bit. Say hello again to Sean Adams of OrangeBloodsAndRivals.com. Oklahoma, Missouri, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. Where do you rank the Red Raiders in that group? Uh, in that group, I'd probably say Texas Tech and uh, Missouri would probably be three and four and probably in a tie for that third spot, uh, basically because of the phys physicality of the defense and my questions about the way they manage the offense and kind of put some strain on their defensive uh, sides of the ball. Based off that, Sean, sounds like you're predicting a Texas victory on Saturday, right? I am predicting a, a, a Texas victory. I, I would say 42 28 Texas wins the game probably going to be close until you get late in the third quarter but I think uh, we go back to the defense the tiredness of the Texas Tech defense comes into play late in the game all right Sean we'll talk to you again soon I'm sure